Welcome to Creation in the 21st Century. I'm your host, Carl Ball, founder and director of the Creation Evidence Museum in Glen Rose, Texas. I'm very, very excited about the program today. Our guest today will move every viewer to a higher level of appreciation of science and the Word of God. In fact, the title to today's program is Archaeology and the Bible. Now, those who view the program for any period of time recognize that I'm a hands-on person. I dig dinosaurs, I excavate dinosaurs, I excavate and direct excavations in the Middle East and archaeology, and uh, I always have something visual for the audience to see and appreciate. But what I've done pales in significance to the exploits and accomplishments and the academics of our special guest today. Professional archaeologist, a professional student in ancient studies of languages, cultures, philosophies, and history, is my very special guest and dear personal friend, Dr. Scott Carroll. Hello. Dr. Carroll, it's a delight it's to have to you here. on the program. Great to be here. Thank you viewed you. the program before, I believe, yes, from sir, afar. I yes, sir, I have. Yes. Well, we appreciate, I personally appreciate, my staff and friends appreciate the work that you have done and the impact that you have made for science and for the truth of the Word of God. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, it takes a collaborative effort, you know. Uh, we're in a battle, and yes. it takes a collaborative effort of people who are who are skilled and prepared to go out there and to stand the gap. Well, and you're one of those patriarchs, and I appreciate that so very much. Your Ph.D. is in ancient uh, studies, yeah. languages, philosophies, cultures, and archaeology, all included, University yeah. of Miami of Ohio. Right, right. And, in fact, you are a permanent faculty member at Cornerstone University. Yes, I am. And you have students, about 20 students, who have gained their PhD, earned their PhDs in secular universities. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you are professors at places. So I, yes. yeah, I see this as the, one of the darkest missionary fields in the world is the university. And so one of my callings is to train young people to go out there and to be missionaries in uh, the university. Yes, and to do an adequate job academically in order to be qualified and credentialed to be on faculty yeah. at these universities. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I think from your work, there are permanent courses that are extended to Oxford, to Harvard, to Yale, etc. We have, we have uh, done work in a variety of places, yes. It's yeah. a pleasure to have you yeah. on the well, broadcast well, today. Pleasure to be here. Yeah. And uh, there's more to come. Yeah. Well, as you know from viewing the program in the past, I'm a hands-on guy. Yeah. And when you came to the studio on the set <clears throat> with this incredible material, I instantly uh, awoke. <laughs> I right, mean, you know, out right. of any stupor of preoccupation. You have some priceless artifacts here. We have some wonderful things. I, I'm privileged to be part of a collaborative effort to, uh, we hope, get installed in Dallas, a National Bible Museum. Marvelous. And so a lot, of these, a lot of these things belong to that collection. And so we have the privilege of being able to use them uh, today. But and, and the work of our mutual and dear friend Jonathan Shipman absolutely has yes. benefited both of us yeah. and the entities we represent. Right, right. Now, right. by the way, uh, Johnny told me that uh, not only have you participated in numerous archaeological excavations, you directed a major excavation in Egypt. Uh, and, of course, uh, you, you teach uh, a month out of every year in Greece. And uh, how many languages are you proficient in? Proficient is one word. <laughs> uh, I, I had to have 13 for my, for my doctoral work that were ancient languages. But uh, of those 13, some I desperately need to review. Well, you have and to use others. the more you lose. Yes, that's right. I, the ability, the fluid ability. Sure. So I work with, I work with uh, well over a handful of them in my own publication, working with ancient man. I work with ancient manuscripts all the time. And so that's my joy. Well, it's a joy just to be associated with you. Well, now to what you were about to say about uh, these artifacts and manuscripts. Tell us what's going on here. We'll do. We'll do. We have, um, I have underneath the table, actually, um, a, a Torah scroll, which uh, the first five Torah means law yes. in Aramaic. It's the first five books 
of the Bible written by Moses. And uh, this is a, a beautiful red color. It's actually written on deer skin. And so this is a this is a Torah this is a Torah scroll. And we normally do not touch the letters. We use the yod to touch the letters, correct? So correct. as not to contaminate them and blight them over a period of centuries. Correct. Uh, how correct. old would this be? These this is always very very difficult to to determine unless it has some kind of a date that's on it. These are tricky tricky things that I work in. But my my guess would be this would be somewhere in the range of 300 years, 250 years old, something like that. Now for the audience. If, if they ever hear 